All right, here we go. Today is the 20th day of the 31-day individuation process for the month of October. You know, I when I when I initially started this, I was thinking about the potential of kind of like growing a community for this. And I know that social media more than anything would be a great tool to use to kind of like bring that community together, to to establish that community, and then to, you know, uh, further bring it together. Um, you can do a lot of really cool things with social media, and this is a clear example, right? Um, yeah, my intention with creating this, you know, like the, the month of individuation and the day of individuation is really just to provide people with insight regarding what this stuff is all about. Um, uh, understanding that uh, I believe that it came from Carl Jung. Um, he may have been the one to coin the term, I'm not entirely sure, but, um, well then I probably shouldn't say that if I'm not entirely sure, right? <laughs> we're, we're in an information age, or I should say a misinformation age, so scratch that. Scratch what I just said. Um, I don't know who first coined the term individuation, but what I do know is that I learned about individuation through uh, Carl Jung, actually. So, the question to ask for today, the 20th of October. Halloween's almost here. So, the, the, the question to ask is, what could my life look like? if I were to fully actualize responsibility and accountability in my life. Now, I know that the average person is probably like, come on, Chris, what kind of question is that? What a lot of people don't understand is that a lot of people actually avoid responsibility and accountability, right? They're very used to pointing the finger at other people, right? Meanwhile, maybe not even understanding the level of happiness that comes with um, responsibility and accountability. When you realize that everything that is in your life that's happening is your fault, not just bad, like, like oh, it's all your fault. Like, no, like, like oh, wow, this is, this is my fault. I manifested this. This is awesome, right? Um, it kind of takes you into a new space of awareness, right? And... You will never be happy deflecting responsibility and accountability. It just it, it doesn't it doesn't work that way. It never has and it never will. It's very important to understand that. So with that, right, what does fully actualizing responsibility and accountability look like? What does what does what does it look like to actually <laughs> to actually to, to fully actualize responsibility? And accountability. Well, when I look at the word responsibility, I see the ability to respond, right? What is the ability to respond for, um, let's say myself, right? I know that it is unbelievably better than it used to be. You know, I, t I know I talked about in a past video that if you look back on your life 10 years ago, right? And you are not, and and uh, you are not embarrassed with yourself. It's so like, I mean, like, like, don't get me wrong. It's it's uh, it's absolutely important, and even I would argue more so important than being embarrassed. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not urging anyone to be embarrassed regarding their lives. If you were not in a good place and now you are, or you still are not in a good place, and you're doing the best you can to figure out how to get yourself into a good place. You know, I, I commend you. That's great. Um, but, and of course, you know, like, looking back on the self and, like, if you're in a much better place now, fantastic, but also having the audacity to, you know, like, look back at that time, you know, and just, like, be like, it's okay. You did the best you could with what you had, you know, and, and not being hard on yourself because being hard on yourself does not connect you anymore to yourself. I need people to understand that, or I, I shouldn't say I need I need people to understand that. There, see that there, <laughs> there, there are so many things in my life that have changed, because I've taken my power back on myself. I've taken my my awareness, everything, 
back on myself and so many things as a result of that have changed. It's crazy to see how life has evolved. Um, and it has evolved. Even my voice has evolved. <laughs> my voice never used to be so deep, right? And of course, as we grow, as we mature, things happen. Um, so it's just like, what does one's ability to respond mean? So when I, again, when I look at that, I see, um, well, yeah, obviously, what does responsibility mean? Let's look at it more closely, right? What does one's ability to respond mean, right? And I, I look at it in so many different ways. Let's look at this one specifically, though. Like, when something happens in your life, right, you have an ability to respond. And if you're responding from a standpoint of reactivity, right, just like impulsiveness, just like, you know, something happens and then you just go crazy, right, that's going to give you a very specific um, outcome, right? But instead, if you were to, you know, like look at everything and kind of like take a step back and stuff, come at it from a conscious standpoint, Eckhart Tolle, actually, um, he, talks, he talks a lot about this. He talks a lot about, like, consciously responding and everything and, like, taking the time to just, like, you know, like, just really, like, being in the moment before you even start to think anything, right? Human beings are on a path of conscious evolution, right? When you look back at the past and where we've come from, you can clearly see insanity. <laughs> it's just the way that it is, or the way that it was, um, in every sense of the word. Uh, it, it, this functionality that exceeds unhealthiness, right? So, like, it's just like... It's like banging your head into a wall, into a, a brick or a concrete wall. Why would you do it, right? I think that looking back on history and everything, there are many examples that we can look at that would leave us thinking, why did we do that ever? And it might take a while for what I'm about to say to actualize, but I think that we'll come to a point in life where we're going to look at things like war, we might even look back on them, right? Um, and I'm, I'm sure I could get, you know, some hate for this. I don't, I, don't, I don't care. You can call me whatever the fuck you want to. It doesn't bother me. Um, I think that at some point in the future, I don't know when, but we're going to realize that we were wrong. <laughs> about our means of doing things, about our decisions and everything, uh, different personality characteristics fucked things up. Like, that's just the way that it is. Um, so, like, when I, when I look at, like, how things are now, right, we, um, we're starting to approach things from a much more conscious standpoint. We are. And I know that anybody could, you know, say, like, what the fuck are you talking about? No, we're not. Things are getting worse. I wouldn't argue that they're getting worse. I would argue that they're getting better. And it might look worse to you because of this specifically. Systems and structures are collapsing and falling apart. That's a wonderful thing. Because guess what that means? That means that they don't work anymore. <laughs> So, you know, when something doesn't work anymore, when it no longer has utility, it fades out of relevance. It fades out of importance and existence, and that's just the way that it is. Um, so, like, you know, like, for instance, right, here's an example. If what we're learning to do is to, within our ability to respond, responsibility, our ability to respond, is to consciously respond to things, right? With, within our ability to respond is consciously responding to things. What does consciously responding to things look like? Instead of, you know, just like, ah, like, just like lashing out and stuff, like, okay, 
that was cool when we were just learning that we could club each other over the head with a fucking stone. Now that we can actually, you know, change our minds and make sense of everything, all the chaos and everything, and understand what's not necessary anymore, we can take a step back instead. We can take a step back and, you know, think about things, take a breath, you know, just take a breath, be present, be in the moment, understand that everyone's got shit, understand that the best possible way to move forward is consciously recentering ourselves instead of getting out of whack and everything. This is not only individual, but this is also collective because once the, once, once the individual starts doing this, the collective will follow. That's just the way that it is. Um, but we'll, we'll see traditional um, systems and structures collapsing and falling apart and falling away out of existence because they're just not necessary anymore. You know, like, think about it this way. Um, it's like something that has existed for a long time, right? It served its purpose. And then something new was invented that took over its place, right? There, there are going to be things that do that, right? We, when we have a download of information consciously, like, you know, say for instance, oh, I don't have to feel overwhelmed. Oh, I don't have to be stressed and anxious and, you know, be flooded with feelings of anxiety and depression. I can just breathe. I can approach people in my relationships and myself from a conscious standpoint. Yeah, a lot of things are going to change. That's just the way that it is. It's not any other way. So understanding that and coming at it from a conscious standpoint is very important because it will change the, the dynamics of everything. And listen, I've heard people talk about it before. Oh, I don't want to have a hand in it. I don't want to have anything to say about it. Listen, plain and simple, we're all in this together. And to think that you don't play a part or that you don't want to, you do. And the more aware you are of your responsibility and accountability on behalf of that, you're not responsible for other people's emotions, right? Like, if you're just going to express yourself and other people have a problem with it, they can just leave, right? But what you are responsible for is how you treat yourself because how you treat yourself um, goes into mirroring how you treat other people, right? And you are responsible for how you treat other people. You are. You can't just, I mean, you, you can just go around being a dick to people, of course, you can, but that's not going to benefit anyone. That usually means also that you're in a fucking dark place. It's really important to understand by now, because I think that a lot of people still don't understand it, and they mistake other, people, other people's projections onto them for their own shit when it's not. Um, the only reason, well, two reasons. One of the reasons that somebody is going to treat you like shit is if they feel like shit about themselves. Another reason why somebody's going to treat you like shit is if you did something to hurt them. So, in the one case, it has nothing to do with you. In the second case, you need to apologize for what you did or said. Um, but, yeah, again, this is all a matter of bringing the energy back to the self, bringing the awareness back to the self, bringing the intention back to the self. We cannot do anything better for this world or for anybody else until we do better for ourselves. And it's really that simple. <laughs>